name is uh, Jens Bangsbo. I'm a professor at the Institute of Exercise and Sports Science in Copenhagen at the University of Copenhagen. I have always been an assistant coach for Juventus in between 2000 and 2004 with Marcello Lippi as the main coach. So I have a bit of practical experience. At the same time, I'm a UEFA Pro License coach, FIFA, UEFA and AFC instructor. Is football the sport that is most demanding physically for athletes? It's difficult to compare the different types of sport because each of them have their specific uh, demands. But if you compare a marathon runner and a football player and they're going to do interval running as we do when you do the yo-yo intermittent recovery test, the marathon runner can run 500 meters and the football players can run 1300 meters. Despite the marathon runner is much better on the marathon than the football player. And that shows how different it is, the demands in the different sports. Uh, what happens to a football player's body when they play a match? A football match is actually quite demanding, despite the players are not doing much in 70 minutes of the game. It's the more part of the intense part is really what is demanding. The acceleration, deceleration, running longer distances and uh, basically the body is uh, stimulated almost maximally in periods during a game and by that it utilizes all this glycogen in the muscle which is the carbohydrates we have uh, so there's a high demand on, on that aspect and therefore players are also getting fatigued at the end of the game they also get fatigued during the game shorter periods they have to relax recover before they can perform again so it is a demanding uh, sport. Um, many football teams come to Lamanga Club to prepare for their next season, mainly Norwegian and English teams. The majority highlight food and the climate as their most important part of their preparation. How do these two things affect the training of a football player? Lamanga is a fantastic place and it's a very good place in, in the pre-season for the Scandinavian teams because uh, you have good facilities, good fields and you also have the time to prepare well for the training and there the food is coming in as an essential part. It's important to have the right food immediately after training in the period between two training sessions in order to optimize uh, the quality of the training. So and that's what you have here at La Manga, good possibilities to get nice food at the same time very nice facilities. In the High Performance Sports Centre at the Manga Club, we have a strength test based on the famous yo-yo test used frequently by runners. How important is it to know how far you can push your body before you start playing a sport? Uh, the testing can be uh, an essential part of planning, of training. You need to know what is your capacity, where do you need to improve, and then it's important to know how to do that. So the testing is a base for actually making a proper training programs and the yo-yo test is very much used in football because it reflects some of the important aspect of the football your ability to perform intensely and recover after that so in a simple way you can test 30 players in 15 minutes you have a good picture of where are your players and then you can start your planning based on that what is the main message that you want to translate to the high performance sport strength and conditioning master students? I think we have a number of important messages to bring to, to the students at, at this time. Research is always moving on and one important aspect is the importance of doing the very intense work. Despite you may be an athlete competing in an event lasting 30-50 minutes, you can benefit from doing very intense work. This is what we have been seeing in the recent years. So that's important, but also that you need carefully to understand which aspect do you need to improve for a specific athlete. And even in a team sport, you may deal with 24 different athletes. And there you need to find the right way of training that specific athlete. So more an individual approach than we have had previously. Next thing is to understand very clear, clearly what is it you need to do, what training do you need to do 
and what's the effect of that type of trading, including then the need of recovery, because a significant effect of training is actually having sufficient recovery.